Okay, this uh, BAE Hawk 100 is all done and ready for shipment. Uh, <clears throat> this is the one in the camouflage scheme from Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's powered by Jet Central Rhino. And it features a power box SRS with an I gyro. Quite a nice unit. Um, the plane has quite a few scale features, such as an air brake in the back and uh, a real nice cockpit detail. Okay, with the covers off in the back, of course, the, the turbine is there. It's in the bypass uh, system supplied by SkyMaster. I put the air system back here so with the cover on it would be pretty much invisible. And of course the fuel tank. This is the main control boards here. Uh, the one closest to the fuel tank is the turbine support. Um, and it's got the, uh, the new miniature handheld data terminal there. And the fuel pump and the ECU. Then up from that of course is the uh, power box SRS with the uh, eye tires and tubing are underneath these boards so they're pretty much invisible. Okay up front we have the front uh, nose gear unit and then way up front buried in the nose are all the batteries. Hey, I did not have to add any weight to achieve uh, CG. And of course this turns the system on. And now the unit is fully on. Of course, the the neat part about the power box is you have a battery display unit, which gives you voltage and consumption used. And of course, back here is your uh, the I gyro gives and gives the status. Very nice unit. Another nice feature: this has the new Zikoi miniature uh, handheld terminal. Uh, this can be removed from the plane, or it's so small and light it can stay in the plane. Uh, this also monitors the battery very well for the ECU and has other diagnostic features. Very nice. The plane has uh, you know, basic flight controls set up in the normal way. Ailerons. And of course the all-flying tail. Uh, is just that. Looks like it will be very effective. And of course the rudder uh, works pretty much the conventional way. All the controls have dual rates and uh, exponential dialed in. Back. Of course that also controls the nose wheel steering. It has a unique flap system. The flaps come down. Uh, I don't know if I call it a Fowler flap, but that's a the takeoff position and of course that'd be landing position. Then in the back there's an air brake. It comes down. This is just like on the full one. It's either fully down or fully up. Landing gear is operated by a sequencer. Uh, the sequencer operates the doors. Of course, the retracts go up and the doors close. And on the landing configuration, the front doors stay open, uh, but the main gears close. Now the main gears will close. So it's quite a nice plane. Uh, the paint job, the finished work on this is pretty spectacular. Um, it should look awesome in the air. So now it's ready for shipment to the customer and uh, I hope he has fun with it.